this is Ben Mundy for Epic TV, live from Hawaii. We're at the famous pipeline where, over the next few days, the world title of surfing will be decided. This is the final event of the ASP World Tour and coming down to this last event at the famous Waves and Dangerous Breaker Pipeline, only two surfers can possibly win the world title. It's come down to a showdown between Kelly Slater and Mick Fanning, only one can win, it's going to be amazing. Uh, why are we here at the Pipeline Masters? What's going on? Ben, you know why we're at the Pipeline. I don't know why you're asking me that question. Well, you're the expert. But we're here, mate, to sort this world title out. It's going to go one way or the other. And Mick who's or Kelly. Mick or Kelly. And uh, who has to do what where? Tell, tell, give us the permutation. Oh, it's set up. It's like a Hollywood script for Kelly Slater, mate. He's got to win the whole contest to win the, uh, win the world title. Mick's uh, only going to make the semis. And right now, who would you say uh, is best place to uh, to win that world title, Sean? That's a completely unbiased Australian, Ben. <laughs> I would say Michael Eugene Fanning, all the way all to the, the bank. All the way. So you're being completely Fingers impartial and unbiased. Completely as a impartial. Sport. And despite having watched Kelly Slater just just nail two nine point rides in his sleep out there, um, I'm still going with Mick. Okay. So if Mick reaches the semis. There's nothing Kelly can do. Is nothing that, is he that can right? do. No, it's done. It's wrapped. It's over. So Mick's just got to keep rolling through. I think it's two more heats he's got to win. So he's just won his round three heats. So two more heats would probably do it. And um, not that you ever want to get in inside Mick Spanning's head. No. That's a very scary place to be. You never get back out again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, how, how do you think he's approaching it right now? What's, his, what's going to be his game plan? Um, mate, he's been here a couple of times before. Um, Really cool head. He's been like that way all year. He's been, you know, just just cruising. Probably had the best year of his life. He reckons he's saying that. Anyway, I don't know if he, you know, I kind of believe it. He seems pretty happy. But mate, he went and surfed his first heat just then. It looked a million bucks. So um, yeah, I, I really, I got some faith that he's going to keep rolling. I reckon Mick Fanning's worst year of his life would still be better than my best year of, pretty, my, of my life. I would guarantee that would be the case, Ben. <laughs> The world title still up for grabs. Mick Fanning is in a stronger position, but Kelly Slater knows exactly what he needs to do to win the Pipe Masters and win another world title. And we're actually at Mick four waves away from the world title, and I'm six waves away from the world title. So. We've got another one on, Sherm. Yeah, it sure is, isn't it? It's on. What Describe this world title showdown. How's it, how's it shaping up? Well, it's. Um, I think they're both really relaxed. And I just think it's, Kelly's been set up for this great ending, you know? And I just, I got this, you know, it's, it's really hard for him, but I just got a feeling that he wants this one bad, because this could be, this I, I, it could be the biggest win of his whole career, which is saying a lot, right? Yeah. This is the climax the surfing world has been waiting for. The stage is all set at Pipeline, surfing's ultimate arena. Kelly Slater still has a mountain to climb, but at least one local thinks a six times Pipeline champion and 11 times world title holder has what it takes to clinch this title and take it all the way in 2013. Kelly! The scene is set from the incredible finale to the end of the year world title race. Kelly Slater and Mick Fanning are both in the title hunt. The waves are expected to be a ginormous on Saturday. Perfect pipe. Two of the best world surfers going gung-ho to see who's going to be the world champion. It's going to be amazing.